Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is Michi Seven Gaming here with another episode and today I have before I get this video started, I just like to say, um, to me it doesn't really matter where Kevin Durant chose to go, because he's a grown man, he can make his own decisions. And um, most of the things I say in this video are from the typical Oklahoma City Thunder fans perspective, not my perspective. So yeah, if I say anything remotely offensive, just know that it's not me speaking, it's Oklahoma City speaking. Enjoy the video. Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is me, T7 Gaming, here with another episode, and today we are here playing NBA 2K16, and you may or may not have heard this news, but Kevin Durant has left the Oklahoma City Thunder. Now from a warm place in my heart, I say... I hope he succeeds, I hope he gets his ring. I am an Oklahoma City supporter, so I am very upset. Um, but me on the outside is saying he's a piece of Okay, so I'm just gonna, just gonna get right into this and I'm gonna play a game with Oklahoma City versus Golden State. You see, I'm, I'm not against the Golden State Warriors. I will give them credit, they had the best season in the NBA. They did not win a finals. They gave up a 3-1 lead. And well, let's 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 think. Let's just take a second to think about this. Kevin Durant was on a team that was this close to beating Golden State in the last 5 minutes of the f fourth quarter of the semifinals. And then they lost because, you know, choke Oklahoma, you know, that's an actual thing. We choke in the fourth quarter of every single game. Understandable. Um, what's not understandable is that he was this close to winning a final, and he left. I'm not saying that Kevin Durant is unintelligent. I'm not saying anything mean about the man. He's a smart guy. He's intelligent. He's um, a businessman. He's trying to make money, and he's trying to, you know, further his career. What I will say, though, if he were smart, he would have waited one more year because Thunder was perfectly capable of getting a ring in a year. And then, like, in my heart, in a really warm, deep place in my heart, I still, like, want to believe that he's not actually leaving and he's, like, just pulling a prank on Golden State and it's like, he's going to come out with another announcement in, like, a day and be like, LOL, JK, you thought... But I'm, I'm a realist. Um, I know that that's never going to happen. And, yeah. There's a three from Kevin Durant, the man himself. You know, the root of this problem comes down to whenever James Harden left the Thunder and he went to Houston. Which, for him, that was a, a great idea. It furthered his career to, like, places that he probably wouldn't have been had he been on Thunder. Realistically. Um, and, like, had James Harden stayed, Thunder would have been a much better team than they are now, and, I, 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 yeah, and we can't go that far in the past, you know, um, that happens in the past, and James Harden furthered his career significantly through that decision. Check out that block. Um, yeah, but he, he furthered his career so much making that decision. And, yeah, like, as Oklahoma City uh, supporter, former, well, I still support Oklahoma City, but, like, former Oklahoma City uh, member, I, I'm happy for him. Um, and, like, I, I don't disagree with his choice, you know. Like, he needed to further his career, so he went to a team that um, he not only became the star player of, but also carried the team. Like, he carried the team. He single-handedly carried um what do you call it? Houston. <laughs> but uh, then came the whole situation when we got super close to winning the finals that year. Um, but I wasn't I wasn't expecting to win the finals that year. We got super lucky um, against Miami. Like getting that far was like an accomplishment like in and of itself um, and I wasn't expecting to win the finals it, like there was hope yeah but was I act like did I actually think that we were gonna make it that was such a bad shot if I make that okay um, yeah like 
I, I still had hope that like we were gonna make it, but realistically, it wasn't gonna happen, you know. Um, but yeah, that year was just like. As of right now, the peak for the Thunder. The Thunder hasn't had a better season than that, I think. Then came just this year, like, well, we had the last year where um, everyone got injured, and that was whenever we had to start going into rebuilding phase because we realized that we didn't have a bench. And I, I always agreed. I always knew that we didn't have a bench. But we also started, like, the year before that, we started giving up our bench players. And basically, that year, we 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 ruined our, our like our bench, and then the next year we had no bench whenever we needed a bench most. So problems, problems, problems arise. Come this year, we have Kevin Durant back, we have Russell Westbrook back, and we have Ibaka, uh, the dream team for the Thunder, and we have finally a good center. We had a solid starting lineup and a pretty solid bench, finally, for the first time, like, ever, basically. Maybe, if we still have the same team next year, we could win a finals. And what upsets me most is that I know that he made this decision from, like, a good place in his heart, and obviously he was stressed out with that decision, because, like, you can't just leave a city that you've been on, basically, since the start of your career. Like, he had one year in Seattle, but, like... Does that really count? No, not really. Um, he was in the Thunder Supersonics organization since the start of his career. And, like, if I were him, obviously I would be making that decision with a very heavy hand. And I, I, think, I think he didn't want to leave, but he really wanted the title. He, hadn't, he has no reason to go to uh, Golden State, besides the ring possibility. Because... He's not going to be a star player there. He's just going to be another one of the, the the their star team basically because they have they have Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, Draymond Green, uh, Iguodala, um, Sean Livingston's even amazing. They have like all the best players in the league basically now, and they only lost nine games last season, and they're probably going to lose even less this year with Kevin Durant. They've basically become an unstoppable team, and, like, why would, like, anyone in their right mind go to a team where, like, from being the star core player where you're making so much money to just being another one of the guys in the shadows, and that's what, I, I, I guess, I don't want to say pissing me off, but, like, kind of pissing me off about his decision, because, like, he was either going to go to a team where he's still the star player, but he's rebuilding... So there's no guarantee that he's gonna be, he's gonna win a championship, or he's gonna go to a team where he's gonna be in the shadows and win a championship, or he could have been on a team where he was, you know, the star player and he could win a championship. <sighs> it's just it's sad. It's sad to me. All right, enough with Kevin Durant. Actually, no. Okay, there's something else I have to say though. People, whoa. People are not giving him, like, space because, like, this guy, keep in mind, is still a human. And there's a lot of people who are, like, disrespecting him. And, like, all of his comments on his Instagram yesterday were just, like, straight up profanity. And, like, yeah, he made a decision to leave the city that, like, supported him and all that. But, like, at the same time, like, you don't get to be profane about it like there's some funny tweets on twitter and like um some like just just generally funny uh like yeah memes that came out of it but like name calling and the profanity just that's a bit much like i, I think okay so yesterday one of my friends on his snapchat he was like i'll put up the pictures um he, he was like, 4th of July grill, and, oh, I don't know why I passed, and on, the, paused, uh, um, on the, uh, next snap, it was like, it, okay, the first one was a picture of a grill, okay, closed, and then on, on the second one was the grill open, and there's just, uh, pictures of tweets, 
And he says, what's that? And then all of them are about Kevin Durant going to the Warriors. And it was funny. I thought that was funny. You'll see it better on the screen. The only reason I'm doing so bad is because I'm not focused. Because I'm too busy talking about the devil himself. <laughs> I say right after I have a spiel about how name calling is bad. <laughs> LOL. Oh, also, if you don't know this, I should have prefaced, prefaced this video with, with this. But... Basketball is my favorite sport. It's the only professional sport that I watch on TV. I don't watch football. I don't watch uh, MLB. I don't watch soccer. Like I watch soccer whenever it comes around the time of the World Cup, and some sometimes I watch uh, El Clasico, which is Real Madrid versus Barcelona. I love like playing sports video games and sports games, like actually sports. I just I can't get myself to watch any of those sports. Like, I could play baseball, I could play football, I could play soccer. But they're all just not the same energetic pace as, um, as basketball. And, yeah, I like the pace of basketball. Like, I, I, there's always scoring. Another sport that I really enjoy watching is handball, but it's not really a popular sport. It's, you, you have to, like, go to the depths of the internet to find a good game of handball because like they're very low scoring oh dang Adams back at it again oh my gosh you had a wide open look right there okay whatever whatever I'm not I'm not I'm not <sighs> ooh saucy but yeah yeah, that's why I'm so... Ooh, saucy, Kevin Durant. You know who's actually a really good player on the Thunder? Steven Adams. Steven Adams puts in work for, for the Thunder. Like, he was just like some nameless guy that we got from... From... I don't even remember where he came from. But he was just like nameless whenever he first came onto the Thunder. And then now he's like... Powerhouse of the NBA. Dream Center. The NBA is rigged. The NBA has to be rigged. All all sporting 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 organizations are rigged, in my opinion. Because there's no way that the same teams are always good. Okay, one thing that I'm like super like concerned but not really concerned about is what if people start boycotting the Thunder? Because <laughs> like I was joking about that, but I I went to the mall the other. Okay, good. I went to the mall the other day, and. As I was walking in, I heard this couple like, uh, like, okay, so what are we going to do? Are we going to boycott the Thunder now? <laughs> I didn't know that that was a serious thing that people were thinking. I thought that it was just like a joke that I made because I thought I was funny. <laughs> How did he not make that? That was the center of the stupid line. The freaking... Just, mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry. I'm fine. Last quarter, I'll win this game. And I won't choke. Get a foul. Draw mm. fouls and make shots. With the ball around. Westbrook kicks to Durant. Mm. That was my yeah, that was a dumb choice. A shot. This one for three. Mm. Please, why did you not make that? That was so close. Come on, I need you to pull a Tabo Sevalosha and get a steal in the perfectly timed moment to win the game. Why did you not keep going? Okay. Yeah. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Just keep going. Fast pace. Use fast pace and good shots. X. Come on, come on, come on. What was that? <sighs> Getting frustrated. I'm trying to win. I'm trying to win. That was not a re Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm it's fine. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. That's what? And the wide open shot from Green. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Time definitely not on their side. They need a very quick bucket, a real quick one. He needs to make that. Pass it back, pass it back. What was that? 
And we lost the game. Don't foul. Don't. It's, there's no point. We lost the game. That's game. Okay, game's over. I tried. Here's <laughs> Clark. Okay, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, then please hit that thumbs up button. Uh, tell me what you thought about my little rant at the beginning of the video. And sorry I lost this game. I guess it goes to prove why I thought Kevin Durant should have gone to the Warriors. Alright, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and leave a like. I will see you guys next time. Peace.